the DuPont model. It's been around for ages, folks. It's a pretty good holistic view of the organization and all the KPIs and elements that impact the financial bottom line. And then by superimposing the areas where supply chain can impact for the organization and the dollars, the money, finance going to be watching, it's pretty synergistic. You can model this on Excel and so forth and then use it to do what if scenarios when you're building a supply chain strategy or redesigning your supply chain. And then you can get finance engaged with you during that what if scenario. And you are now collaborating. Why? Because finance believes in what you're doing and believes in numbers. The future demand signals, the demand volume, so they can dollarize that and the inventory projected out into the next 18 months and the capacity and the supplier's purchases. Yeah, it's an excellent tool and an excellent set of metrics to help you model different supply chains as you grow especially in a planning perspective. What areas in the DuPont model resonate for your business discussions between operations and finance? We have uh, accounts receivables, EBIT, or there are other areas. When you look at this model, you see where they complement each other. Greg, your thoughts? Or what, what kind of benefits could we derive if we worked together putting scenarios? We call them what-if scenarios. What if we drop the inventory? What if we change our accounts payable? And you could put that into the model and they can provide the real live data and it becomes like a working document, uh, almost a session every time you get together between the two disciplines. The key here is these are not fixed numbers. Don't get fixated that this is where you're at. Look, get fixated on how you can make these change and how it can improve your return on investment and what do you need to do to get there and drive that conversation in that manner. 